Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec. This is part two for my scrappy kit and plans for May 2024. I'm going to be sharing my design team kit for the Mercy Tierra Kit's newest release called Bloom and organizing it for the month. This kit combines products from Pebbles, Cartabella, Echo Park Paper, and more. The vibe is spring, very happy, and it's great for documenting everyday stories. I have the main kit along with the pattern paper, cardstock, and embellishment add-ons. There's also a Winnie the Pooh add-on, which is super cute, along with printable labels and digital downloads. Below, you are going to find a bunch of links to the Mercy Tierra Kit's website, Instagram, and Facebook group. Also, May is the first anniversary for Mercy Tierra Kit, so there will be an online birthday bash on May 25th. There will be a crop, prizes, and more, so mark your calendars for that celebration. Now, let's have a look at Bloom. Okay, so we're starting with the main kit, and it comes in this giant, really heavy-duty baggie. Great for craft room organization. There are 12 pattern papers. There's this newsletter. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to go through this at the very end of this video. There are a bunch of embellishments as well. Again, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to start by showing you the pattern paper. So the first six papers are from the Pebbles Sunny Blooms collection. So it's very happy, springy. It's a really pretty collection of papers here. This one here has bunnies in a bunch of flowers. Absolutely beautiful. And the background is navy blue. Now, what I particularly like about this paper is that it's cute, but it's not cutesy. And I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it does to me. What I mean by that is I don't have little children in my life right now. So a lot of my photos aren't little children photos, but this paper is adult enough that I can use it to document my own stories. These bunnies, of course, can be Easter, but this could also represent my garden, anything outdoorsy, and it's just really pretty, this paper, so I absolutely love it. The flip side is like a pinky peachy tone-on-tone -tone with polka dots. Here's the next one. This is really pretty. So a floral with blues and little peachy. So the peach can work with this as well. Absolutely love it. The flip side is a pink and white, kind of a tight stripe. I really like this one as well. This one is a cut apart sheet. I absolutely love this. First of all, I love the colors in this collection. I love the pops of green with the periwinkle blue, pink, that strong yellow. Absolutely love it. And this has a nice variety of sizes. You have your three by four cards. That's good for pocket scrapping, of course. Here's a tag. Here are some more square type pieces. And here are a bunch of tabs. Those are absolutely beautiful. So it says blessings, moments, celebrations, weekends, here and now. Love this. So that kind of covers a lot of different subjects, actually. So yeah, I really, really like this. The flip side is like, I don't know, a blue, maybe it's a periwinkle blue with these little white flowers with tiny yellow dots in the middle. This is a lovely floral, so I really like it. It almost looks like a, a yellow tone on tone floral, but when I put it next to this peachy color or the pink, you can almost see the peach or pink undertones in it. So yeah, I really like how they look together actually. Here's another pink one, pink and white. To me, it almost looks like a racing check. So very cute, absolutely love it. This one here, a strawberry print with some yellow flowers. I wonder how that looks with that. Uh, okay, well this paper here, yeah. Really, really, I love that yellow. It's really nice and intense. And the flip side of this one is strawberries. Very nice. This is a cloud paper, so obviously nice for anything outdoorsy. 
Ooh, but I really love this. This is my favorite side of the two. And again, I think it's because I'm absolutely loving that yellow there. Hmm, nice. Now I'm changing collections. This is from Cartabella. There are three papers here, and this is the Here Comes Spring collection. So this one full of little birdhouses on a white background. There are little tiny flowers and leaves on the back. And then every once in a while, there's a little bird who's sitting in a floral nest. Super, super cute. The flip side is this mint, almost like a cross hatch pattern. Absolutely beautiful. Is that what you call it? Anyway, it's kind of like checkers, but on a diagonal. The next paper here is a white and yellow check. Really, really pretty. And the flip side, there are little bees on it. Super, super cute, which happens to be really cute with this one, which is a red and white check. To me, that looks like a picnic page, the bees along with the red and white check. And the flip side, I probably have the A's and B sides mixed up here, but anyway, sorry about that. This one here has rainbow boots. What I meant by that is I'm guessing this is the A side and this is the B side. Anyway, you get to see both sides. Now I'm changing collections here. This is Echo Park Papers Telling Our Story collection. In last month's kit, there was some paper from this collection as well, which I absolutely love. This one is a floral, absolutely love it. And I can see how it even looks nice with this checkered paper here. The reds are almost identical there. So that's really, really nice. The flip side, again, another red, very nice. This one here has like, it's kind of like a tone on tone. And if you look closely, there are little floral clusters there. I really love this one. This is extremely fun. Now I've seen other papers before with frames all over it. This one for some reason looks different to me. I don't know, maybe it's the color combo. I absolutely love it. The frames are smaller and behind the frames are all of these flowers. I'm guessing it's kind of the same floral pattern as here. That's a bit much together, but with the B-sides, it's fabulous. Anyway, I really find that fun, fun paper. The flip side is a nice tone-on-tone -tone blue plaid. And here we have a bunch of typewriters. Again, very, very colorful. And coming out of the typewriters on top of the paper are little clusters of flowers. Super, super cute. And here is a nice, it almost looks like an Easter egg pink. I don't know what to call it there. It's really pretty though. So yeah, it's kind of white with little, I'm sorry, pink with little white polka dots. Now before I get out the embellishments or before I show you all of the embellishments, what I'm going to do is spread out these papers on my table along with the pattern paper add-on, which has 12 papers, which are identical to this. So that way you can see the A and the B sides. So let me do that and I'll get right back to you. So here are all my papers. So this side is from Pebbles Sunny Bloom. So you see the A sides and the B sides. And on this side, it's the paper from Echo Park Paper telling our story along with Cartabella, Here Comes Spring. So I'm gonna get out all of the embellishments for the main kit. I'm gonna start by showing you the thickers. This is an alpha set called Amul. So the colors here are pink, green, peach, very, very pretty. Now if I'm to take out this from the Pebbles collection, I can see that they are really, it's a fabulous match, or I certainly think it is. The green is the perfect green. I absolutely love the greens in this collection. I may have said this already, but I really love it. And also there's the pink and the peach, and to me, they look really nice with this paper here, which of course has all of the colors in the collection. Next, we have a chipboard collection. This is from Echo Park Papers telling our story. So 
obviously it goes with this because it belongs to the collection. Now, Echo Park paper and Cartabella are kind of from the same manufacturer. So even though the colors here are a little bit more pale, I don't know if you can see them, with this Cartabella collection, the same colors can be found. These ones are just a little bit lighter. And if I'm to look at the Pebbles collection with this, it's like, honestly, it's like a perfect match. If you look at the pink or reddish and pink and the pink and the yellow and the green, it all looks very, very nice together. So yeah, I'm like that. I'm liking that, I should say. I'm a matchy matchy person, so uh, some people don't like that. I happen to love it. And this is like a perfect match. So that's great. So on this plate, I have a bunch of other stuff here. Let me set this small stuff aside. The next big embellishment pack is the uh, ephemera pack from Sunny Blooms. It is the journaling ephemera. There are 70 pieces here. I'm just going to quickly flip through them. I store my kits in this monthly DIY kit caddy. It's made of a basket from the dollar store that measures about 11 by 14. And also in here, I have refrigerator bins. If you've watched my product shares from the Mercy Tierra kits, you know I've been using this for the past four months. It's been working like a charm. So what I do is I store my ephemera for the month in these little mini iris containers. So I'm going to put them in right now. So let's have a quick peek here. Ooh, this is vellum. It says grow your own way. Super, super beautiful. So obviously there are smaller pieces as well, a little ticket. This is really cute. It says, find the magic in every day. So this pops out here. I'm not going to do it right now. Again, this is a piece of vellum, two little coral, blah, 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 sorry, two little clouds and a rainbow. Another little cloud here. It's really funny because for this paper here, you can see from Pebbles with the Clouds, it wasn't my favorite, but when I see clouds in embellishment pieces, I really love them. So that's strange. I'm learning something about myself every day. So little, I don't know, little tabs, labels, getting bigger every day. I guess that's good for a garden or maybe a child. These are little pop-outs here, the best days. Some things don't have anything on them, so you can Add your own words, little tickets, tags. These are little, I don't know, little tabs and banners, more tags, more pop-out things. This is a little sun in a cloud that says rise and shine. More little labels. This is, ooh, I like this. It has a banner out on it, but it doesn't pop out. And if I pop this out, I like that. I'm not going to do it all. It looks like a little notebook. Very, very cute. More little words, tags, little circles. Now, what I'm noticing about these embellishment pieces, there don't, there doesn't seem to be any, um, any white edging around them. So I kind of like that. I prefer to have no white edging around them. When there is white edging, I try to cut it off. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I can't. Um, however, these are really nice without the white edging. Very nice. Cute little bunny. Little heart labels, I guess. A little journaling card, a bunch of tabs, another journaling spot, tags. This is cute. This is like a little film strip. I'm not going to pop it out, but if you look really closely, there's little dots here. It's like a film strip. And these things here as well pop out. So this piece of ephemera is like five pieces of ephemera in one. That's kind of cool. More banners and little tabs, little labels. Again, these you pop out. These are little tabs that you pop out and fold over, kind of like that. The library card with a frog. This looks like, oh, back in the old days when I was going to the library, you would have these little cards to... Uh, find your book, basically. I almost forget how that works, but that was that was how it worked before the internet. Anyway, here's a little postcard. Very, very nice. So 
I am going to keep this in the little iris container. It's going to go in my basket. You'll see that a little bit later. And I will save the empty packaging in my basket as well. I like to keep them in here. That way I can refer to them. It's like a little reference. I can look at this and I can see what's in my box. So in addition to these embellishments, in the main kit there were three rolls of washi tape. This is from the Pebble Sunny Blooms collection. Mine have bunnies, super cute. Oops. Chickens, really, really cute. Ooh, this one's my favorite. It's kind of purpley periwinkle blue and there are little rainbows and clouds. So again, there's another example of clouds on an embellishment that I like, but for some strange reason, it's not my favorite on paper. There's also a few doilies. I find the doily look goes well with the mood and feel for this collection, so that's perfect. This is really fun. There's a little package of ribbon and twine. So there's that green again that I'm absolutely loving. That's really fun. There is a sequin mix. This is exclusive to the Mercy Tierra kits. It's from the Bloom collection. That's what we're looking at right now. And this has, ooh, it's really cute. There's like yellow. There seems to be two tones of yellow, actually, a lighter and a darker, pops of orange. These little, they're either blue or iridescent flowers. Super, super cute. They're absolutely minuscule. So I really want to use sequins this month. I'm not very good at using sequins. And these are really, really pretty. So I'm looking at that, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this just going to show you my basket right now. I am going to put my bigger pieces towards the back. I also have this cardstock here. That's because I like to have something stiff. It's going to be where I put my paper later on. The two iris containers go here. All of my smaller embellishment packs go towards the front. I have these stackable containers here as well, and I think that's why I'm just going to put these smaller bits and pieces right now. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to leave the paper out and I'm going to show you the embellishment add-on. The embellishment add-on comes with five embellishment packs. So first of all, there are these Thickers titles. These are from the Sunny Blooms collection, again from Pebbles. So you have words like bloom, beautiful, memories, together, sunny days, happy heart. Very, very lovely. And I'm looking at it here with Echo Park paper. And again, a very, very nice match. Obviously, there's lots of springy words here, but these can be used for everyday memories. I mean, beautiful memories, together, happy heart. You know, all of that works very, very well, very nicely for titles. Also, there is a little mini puffy alpha pack. I absolutely love it. So once again, there is this green here, which I absolutely love. I'm to get out this. Okay, this is from Pebbles. This is from Maggie Holmes. It's the same green. This is really nice. So this is great for bigger words, and this can be used for smaller words. It's just really fun to mix up alphas the sizes, different fonts, to, just to create kind of like dynamic titles. I love doing that. So that's really, really fun. Also, there are these puffy stickers as well, again, from the Sunny Blooms collection. Very, very cute. I love those. There's little tiny chickens here. Super, super cute. So there's rainbows, clouds, little mushrooms, strawberries, a snail. Very cute. Both of these puffy packs have like a high gloss finish. They're really, really nice. Anyway, love that. Now I have two ephemera packs to show you. So I will go through one at a time. We are going to start with the Pebbles one because 
I'm going to get out my little iris containers, but I'm going to mix up the ephemera from the first ephemera pack that I already showed you, which was from the Pebbles collection. I'm going to put Pebbles and Pebbles together in this iris container. This one as well has 70 pieces and these are icons. So the other one was journaling bits and pieces and these would be like little images. So once again, I am going to take this little pack and I'm going to put it in my little kit caddy. This one here, we have a little bunny. Oops, he seems to be a little offset. I will definitely be trimming that down. This one here as well. Oh, what a shame. Anyway, I can trim that down. That's not going to be a problem. Let's just see. I hope they're not all like that. Nope, this one's perfect. This one does have white edging, um, but it's even. So it was just those two. Very nice, cute little umbrella. I'm not going to pop this out. This little bird here is to be popped out as well. This is a vellum piece, so a cloud with little raindrops. Super, super cute. A little ladybug, again with the, uh, oh, I already popped it out. They do pop out easy. That's a good thing to know. Here are little flower pieces in vellum. Flower, but in cardstock. So what I'm noticing about this is there seems to be a variety. Some of them have white edging and others don't. This is really cute. It's like a little, I don't know, is that supposed to be a duck? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, really cute. And it's walking along very proudly with its beak in the air. Super, super cute. Here's a little rainbow once again with those clouds. I'm really liking that image. It's really cute. Um, again, you can pop out the middle. I'm not going to do it. That's in vellum. I'm going to go through these a bit more quickly now. Blossom. Ooh, I like this. I love that yellow that's in this collection as well. This is like a half sun, so that's kind of fun. Mushroom flower here. Some little banners with words. Ooh, so cute. A little bunny. Again, not too cutesy. I absolutely love that. A little flower pot. Here's a little strawberry, little tree, little chicken. A nice little house. This is a vellum greenhouse, I guess. And the leaves in it are absolutely huge. Very, very cute. A little bunny in a frame. Little carrots, dreams, or plant dreams, and watch your garden grow. Some little flowers, more pop-outs, a snail, a bird, and a flower. Ooh, a cute little bunny. Some chickens and a bird. Flourish, mushrooms. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Again, a mix of some with white edging and others not. Uh, really, really nice, actually. I love these seed packets as well. This is a little radish, some boots. Oh, I guess that goes near. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's a little bunny frame. That is so cute. And here's a little flower that has to be popped out as well. A pink house, rainy day. Oh, look at that. It's a little frog. He popped out, cute. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. It's like a little, it doesn't pop out as a frame. I'm not gonna throw it out. I could always put the frog and have him pop out. Anyway, very nice, loving all of this. So all of this is going in my little ephemera box here. Now we have one more ephemera pack. These are the frames and tags from the Carta Bella Here Comes Spring Collection. This one has uh, let's see, 33 die cut pieces. So for these ones I'm going to put in the other little iris container because it's from a different collection. Celebrate spring. A little label. Here's a tag. Here's another little tag. Smaller labels. A very nice. These ones don't seem to have any white edging. This one here, you can pop it out so you get two pieces. One's a frame, one's a little 
little wordy bit that says hello friend, some little banners, more little tabs, another little frame. This one doesn't pop out, cute. Springtime, a little label for journaling, very, very nice. So yeah, it goes actually quite nicely with this Pebbles collection as well, even though it's Cartabella, right? It's very, very nice. Again, I keep putting it up towards this one here. I keep bringing this one out. This is really a lovely sheet. Anyway, back to my ephemera pieces here. Spring. Another one. Spring is in the air. Little tiny piece. This one here. Oh, there's little dots here. It's like a little, I don't know, a little... I'm not sure what that is because this pops out so there'll be a little hole in it and this has a scalloped edge with little holes in it. Little tabs and labels and tags. Very, very cute. So all of this is going to go in another iris container. Once again, let's see. This is going to go in here. Let's just put this over to the side. So these two boxes are going to go in the back. These are my empty containers. These are the smaller bits here. They're going to go towards the front. My little alphas here, or I should say titles. That's good. And my papers. Oops. Sorry for all the noise. I am going to put them in my basket here. So again, I kind of do that towards the back. And it's nicely set up for the month. Now I do have a bit more to add to this basket. The next add-on I want to show you is the cardstock add-on. So as you can see, once again, all of the 12 by 12 add-ons do come in these giant baggies. So the cardstock add-on has eight pieces of cardstock in four different colors. So we have Avalanche. This is like a light textured basil cardstock. This is Tutu Pink. So again, basil, lightly textured. This one here was in the kit last month, I'm sure of it. Yes, it was. Patina, again, basil. So this is lightly textured. And, oh, I like this one. This is Color Vibe by Simple Stories. The color is oatmeal. So you can see there's one side. It's slightly different with these little dots on it. Let me just bring out, for the fun of it, I'm going to bring out two papers here. This one. And let me burn up one other one here. I'm just going to bring out a Echo Park paper because these just have a lot of the colors on them. So here are the cardstock. So yes, that looks very nice with this. Obviously the white, the pale pink, that patina. The patina I can see really going with that Echo Park paper, however. And even this for a nice neutral. It's just, it's not too dark. It's, I love it. That's perfect. Um, and here is the cardstock with the Echo Park paper. So again, the pinks obviously are there. The whites, yes. But this is like... I don't know, I find that like a really, really nice match for this Echo Park paper because we had it in our kit last month and we did have some of this and it was, it just worked like a charm. So all of this is going to go in my basket as well. Oops, a sec. it's gonna go towards the back. Let's just have a quick peek at the MTK newsletter. This has been coming with the kit since January, I believe. 
Um, in this, there's like a little front page where Tracy writes about the kit. And this month, she's talking about what's going on in May. As I mentioned in the intro, there is going to be a celebration, a birthday bash, because Mercy Tiara Kits is one year old already. So there is going to be an online school. And that's happening May 25th. There's a little picture of the kit here. On the second page, she includes a color palette. So all of the main colors that can be found in this entire kit are here. Now, what I like to do is go through it and select any inks I have just so that I can have them handy to use throughout the month. The inks I use are Stampin' Up! inks, so I'm going to share with you the colors that I've selected this month. So I have a Pebbled Path, that's this one here. This one here, So Saffron. Seaside Spray. Soft Succulent. Terracotta Tile, Rococo Rose. Now you may notice this looks a lot darker than what's here, but in a moment I'm going to show you. I kind of stamp them out and I stamp one, two, three. And sometimes it's second generation stamping that matches this. This one here is a Blushing Bride. And finally, I have Delightful Dijon. So this is the little chart I have made for myself. And for example, for terracotta tile, I have a little X there. It was the second time I stamped without re-inking that gave me the color that was closest to what I see here on the chart. The same thing here for the Rococo Rose. The first time I did this, it took me a while, but I'm finding with every month I'm doing it, it's just getting quicker and quicker all the time, which is really great. Anyway, I find it helpful because what I do is I just store my inks right here with my kit and that way they're kind of ready to use and it's been getting me to use up my inks, which is really kind of fun. In addition to that, there's a little community corner where we share photos from our Facebook community. So this is a scrapbook page here and this is somebody's Kit Caddy. So that's absolutely great. Here there is a kit planning tool. So I haven't filled mine out yet except one thing here, but basically here you can write down maybe stories you want to tell this month or photos you want to take this month or maybe photos you have to find, techniques you want to try, stuff like that. The only thing I wrote down is sequins because we have once again another exclusive beautiful sequin mix and I really, really want to use it this month. Here, there's a page where we can draw little sketches and take some notes. Here's a spot to do some little journaling or to take down some notes. Here's a reminder, every one of our kits comes with digital downloads. So you can have these cutouts. I don't, I don't, what are they called? Anyway, I don't have them, but um, people who have cutouts, I am losing my words. I do know the word for it. Anyway, there's a little reminder along with the address where you can find it. And there's also labels that you can print up as well. And finally, on the back of this newsletter is our monthly challenge. Often it is a sketch, and this is a creative scrapper sketch by Christine Davidson. And on our Facebook page in the Facebook community, there's a place where you can post your challenge. You have all month long to do it, and the winner gets a $25 gift certificate to Mercy Tierra Kit. So that's really, really fun as well. So I'm going to store this right in my basket here. And there are just a few more things I am going to add. Number one, I use a lot of white cardstock and this pack here actually is from the Mercy Tierra kits. It's not part of the design team kit, but on their website, there is a place for essentials. So in the shop, you have an essential section where you can buy 
adhesive, packs of cardstock, stuff like that. So I just want to remind you of that. If you are getting the kits and having them shipped to you anyway, don't forget there is an essentials section. So that can be pretty convenient. And finally, there's a few other things I'm going to add. This here is a pickup tool. Again, I do believe it is in the essentials part of the shop for Mercy Tierra kits. This is like a pickup tool for sequins. And again, I really want to use these sequins this month, so I'm throwing that in. And finally, last month in the Adventure Awaits kit, there were these three packs of embellishments from Echo Park Papers Telling Our Story collection. So I still have these left over. I'm going to throw them right in my kit it because obviously I have paper in here that matches it perfectly. So that's it. So here's the bloom kit all organized and ready to go. I'm really excited about it as always. I plan to do three process videos with it starting May 7th. I'll be creating plenty more though and I will share the projects in my end of month layout share. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Scrapbooking Quebec, I would be honored and thrilled if you did. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very, very much. Check out the Mercy Tierra Kit Club. Links are below. The kits are absolutely fabulous. Take care and I will see you soon on YouTube. Bye-bye.